Hi guys, Violet Lepkin here with Violet Lepkin Photography. I am going to attempt to dye my first Lakati rug. So, um, I've got a bucket here and my gloves and we filled it up with the hose. Just a little bit right now, we're going to kind of see how the Lakati fits in there. I've got a cup and vinegar. Let's put that in. And this is Rit Dye. I just got it at the fabric store. Any craft store will have it. I'm not measuring, I'm just kind of pouring in. Wish me luck. Probably should have measured that. <laughs> Denim blue. Okay. So we use the vinegar because it's wool. This is um, a wool flocati I got at Rugs USA. Um, I actually got it on a really awesome sale. Almost every month they've got them on sale for about 70% off. There's some holiday that they're celebrating. This I actually got during um, Black Friday, so it was 80% off. And then just waited all winter long for it to be warm enough to finally be able to dye it. Because it has to air dry in the sun. So the trick is to make sure to agitate it. And if you can see it's popping up out of the water, I want it completely submerged, so I'm going to add a little bit more water. I've got this. So now, if you don't agitate it, you're going to get some spots that are dark and some spots that are light, um, and you won't get a nice even dye, which I guess some people like. I am not a fan. So, try and agitate it a lot. Moving it around. I totally just got it all in my glove. No purpose of having gloves now. <laughs> why are you doing that? Because I don't want it white, I want it blue. Do you like blue? I like blue too. Except it looks kind of purple. A little bit. Oh, I was supposed to soak my flicati. So you probably, it said to get your flicati wet before you put it in. Sorry. Let's see if it makes any difference. Agitate it again and see how how it looks. Hi, so we're back. It's been probably about 10 minutes or so, enough time for me to make sandwiches for the kids. So I'm gonna agitate a tiny bit more and pull it out and see what color we've got. Still looking pretty purple. It's a pretty purple. Kind of a periwinkle, maybe? So I think I'm going to leave it in about 10 more minutes okay. to see if we can get a little bit more blue. Okay? I'm in so here we go, we're putting it back. Try and submerge as much as possible so yeah. it stays a nice even color. I'm going to bring it around one more time. Make sure the bottom's on the top now. 
Okay, 10 more minutes. All right, so it's been about 10 more minutes. It's looking a little bit more blue, a little bit darker. So we're gonna call it good. So I'm gonna pull it out and try and squeeze as much of the water and the dye out. I've heard some people put their placatis in the washing machine to wash it on a really gentle cycle. I really don't think my washing machine could handle that. So I am going to just, um, once it's dry, I'm gonna fill the bucket back up with soapy detergent water and rinse it out there. But for now, I'm gonna dry it right here on the drying rack. Oh, I think that's gonna be so pretty. Can't you see a little girl with a cute little pink bow or blue bow on it? It's really heavy. <laughs> My arms are hurting. Who needs a gym, right? We're newborn photographers. Me. You do? Okay. No, you don't need a gym. All right. Bye-bye.